In today's 1980s edition of Are the Straits Okay? The answer is, of course not. No. They never are. <laughs> Definitely not. Ra- Rachel, what about you? Tell us a little bit about your, um, what I'm sure will also be really, really positive experience with Cheers. <laughs> I actually think that I enjoyed what I watched of it more than I was expecting to, but the bar was very, very low. <laughs> I had not seen <laughs> any of Cheers and I was like, this like really straight sitcom that is dated from the 80s like it's there's no way I'm gonna find anything to like about it and it it there it has its moments of being mildly entertaining when it's not being extremely problematic um and also I was watching it all through the lens of like trying to find gay things about it which was a super fun exercise even though I knew that my um theories would never like I would never be satisfied not not, none of what I found that was gay would ever like come to fruition um throughout the 11 seasons but but yeah I do feel like anytime you watch a show with a should have been gay lens it just gets better so like it doesn't really matter what the show is but agreed um as far as my experience I've sort of said it I watched the first two episodes or maybe two and a half um For me, because I'm from Boston, that part was sort of interesting to me. And I was like, okay, I can like feel a little nostalgic. There was a point where like a Yankees fan came into the bar. and There was this whole like brawl with Carla, which also Carla's so fucking gay. Um, But we'll definitely talk about Carla. Um, But agreed, like I chuckled sometimes. I liked I liked Ted Danson as an actor. Um, So I was like, it was interesting to see him like young because <laughs> I'm used to like I feel like I look at Ted Danson and I see him in The Good Place um but yeah very 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 dated very dated Lee um yeah I again never have still yet to ever watch actually an episode of Cheers I feel like most of what I know from Cheers comes from the fact that I did watch a lot of Frasier growing up um, Frasier obviously was a, well, obviously Frasier was a spinoff of Cheers for anyone who doesn't know that. Um, I feel like a lot of our listeners might also not I remember that. Frasier. Um, well, Frasier started as a character on Cheers and then okay. the, the show itself was like a spinoff. Um, and, uh, if my, you know, experiences of what I remember of Frasier serve as any indication, I have to assume Cheers probably wasn't any better in terms of like, that very just, you know, ubiquitous or early 90s, late 80s kind of problematic stuff that has not aged well. Um, and so that's that's what I would expect. But yeah, most of what I know about it is just from, you know, hearing either people talk about it or like hearing stuff that would like come up during a Frasier episode and then my parents would be like oh they were talking about this that happened in Cheers and stuff like that so that's kind of that's kind of it I'm gonna be operating purely on uh rumor for this speculation speculation and my own wild guesses and I'm feeling good about it I'll be honest so let's talk um which character should have been gay um, if we're if we're coming at it from the the lens of the closeted gays at the actual Cheers, who who's closeted at Cheers? Most I of think them. That, yeah, I think all of I think all of the customers are. I think I think the people. I think I don't want Sam in my like queer community. I want I he's he can be straight and he's just like a he just bothers the lesbians and um coach like we don't he's he can be straight he's fine he's he's but but I think that everyone else Carla obviously we talked about let's, so well, let's, gayest let's, one let's out dive there. in on Carla to start then because Carla has a lot of um has a lot of gay flags like she comes in the first episode she hates her ex-husband she has a short haircut which is just like you know doesn't have to be gay but she's wearing like a like a baseball tee or something um she's very aggressive not not all gays are aggressive but like she's very like tomboyish um 
And she has some like very interesting lines. I wrote a few lines that she said that I'm like, if you think of this as a lesbian saying it, um, where is it? Okay, yeah. This is from the gay episode, the boys in the bar. She says, if guys keep coming out of the closet, there isn't going to be anybody left for me to date and I'm going to have to start dating girls. And it's like, Carla, are you upset about wow. that? <laughs> or or like is that just a statement like you're like okay I guess I will satisfy that part that I've been hiding that's what I think on Carla 